Good morning, sailings. Happy Monday and welcome to Circle. I've missed you all and I hope you had a wonderful weekend and you guys got lots of sleep and had a good breakfast this morning to start you on your day. You ready? Let's begin. Good morning to you. How do you do? I'm happy to see you. Good morning to you. Good morning and happy Monday again. As I'm looking outside, the weather looks a little cloudy today. There's no sun peeking through. It looks like it could rain. So I hope everybody is able to get outside with enough time to play before some showers come. We have to remember that we're in the season of spring and that means that we do get a lot of rain and showers but it's good because it helps our plants grow the flowers bloom and it's a it's hard because we can't go outside and play but it is good for our environment okay to start i have our friends on our, on our wish you well board so we can send them loving thoughts and keep them in our hearts um, because we don't get to see each other but we're still a seedling family and we want to remember that okay so let's put our hands over our hearts and let's begin we wish you well we wish you well all through the day today we wish you well we hope you come back soon we hope you come back soon all through the day today we hope you come back soon we hope to see each other soon okay so this morning i sent out um, some lesson plans. We're still doing sea life and all of the things that come. We've talked about whales um, in sea life. We talked about octopuses. And so one thing that we're going to focus on this week is sharks because that's one of the topics that's under sea life. And sharks are really important predators that we have in our oceans. And there's so many species of them, but one species that I wanted to focus on is one that we have here in Florida. Um, not all year, um, but they do come and they're actually here right now. I heard the news um, on WPTV that they have arrived. So because of where we are in the ocean, um, we have warm water here. We have good coral reefs, which means lots of fish. We get a lot of sharks coming to visit and a lot of sharks make our waters home. So today, I thought that we could learn about the great hammerhead. And the great hammerhead is a species of hammerhead. So there's nine different species of hammerhead. There's actually quite a bit. And they all kind of look the same. They all have the same head shape, um, give or take a little differences. A few of them don't even have a hammer looking head, but they are considered a hammerhead. But um, the one that is most commonly seen and talked about is the great hammerhead. And they call them the great hammerhead because their head is very long shaped and it kind of looks like a hammer. Um, some of their heads can be as long as a baseball bat. So that's about this big. That's pretty crazy. Um, so they're very big sharks. Um, and they are definitely a predator which means that they eat meat, they eat other animals in order to survive. Um, and specifically right now, they are trying, they're in our oceans now, close to our beaches, um, because they like to eat younger sharks. And the younger sharks right now that they're trying to eat are black tip sharks. So we, uh, we have that going on right outside of our beaches. It's pretty cool. There we go. Okay. So I 
think I want to do just a picture to start. I forgot to do that. So you guys can do it with me now. That way you can really see the shape of the hammerhead and how big they really can get. So this This is a is a, a hammerhead. And as you can see, he looks a lot like a shark until you get to his head. His eyes are way on the tips of his head. Um, but he still has the doors open, he still has the pectoral fins. They do have extra fins um, underneath, and they almost have what looks like another dorsal um dorsal fin on their back, and that just helps them keep balance and be able to maneuver in the water because they are rather large animals. Their heads um, are really cool. They use those and how they swim to see because their their um, eyes are like on the side. They have to turn their heads and go like this. So that's how they're able to see and, and round them and hunt for their prey. And as you can see, their sharp teeth are right there. Um, so that does help them be able to eat the fish, the octopus, the other baby sharks um, as well. So they're a pretty big predator in the ocean. Um, they're not one really to be messed with at all. They're pretty cool. Now, instead of a whale, a whale, remember, we talked about had a blowhole on top, and so they breathed air. Sharks are not like that. They actually have what these are called. Let's see if I can get my pen. These, right here. Those are called gills, and those help them breathe. That's how they breathe. They don't have a nose like us. Um, they have gills, and that helps. They go, they put the gills move out and in, and that helps pump the seawater through their bodies, and they filter that water, and they get the oxygen from the water. So they do not have to come up for air like a whale. They can breathe solely underwater, and they live, that's how they live. So they're a really cool creature. They also um, have very, very thick skin and it's, they're pretty tough animals. So and they don't need the sunlight. They're not like a reptile that needs to lay in the sun. They do, however, need to constantly be moving. Um, even when they're sleeping, sharks need to always be moving um, or they'll actually sink to the bottom of the ocean. So they always have to keep moving. They kind of put themselves in an extra sleepy state if they're asleep. But that's a pretty cool fact that they do have to keep moving. They cannot just sit still. Okay. Oops. Now we're going to go back. <laughs> Since it's apparently struggling today. Okay. Now. So, as you can see, they like to eat stingrays as well. You can see a stingray is hidden under here. And you can see how low they get to the bottom and how they use their head. It's almost like a magnet um, to sense the animals that are hidden underneath. So they use their head to, to sense. They have little sensors on the top of their heads. And so they move back and forth and see how big their eyes are and they can sense out their prey. Pretty cool. So they love, um, so as you can see, he's moving his head back and forth to try and sense where the stingray is hiding. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So that's just a little something that we are going to learn about. We'll talk more about the different kinds of hammerheads and we'll talk about some other different sharks, but I wanted to talk about the hammerhead just because they're visiting our beaches right now and they're something that 
we can actually maybe see if we're at the beach one day. Okay, so I thought we would do one of our old sea life songs that we haven't done in a while that I have to put back on here. Ready to start our day. I think we shall do. Let's let's do the pretzel. We haven't done the pretzel in a while. And that gives us kind of a good stretch with our arms too. So we're gonna take our arms out and you're gonna look at your palms. And you're gonna crisscross and you can wave. And you're gonna grab your hands and you're gonna fold them close to your heart. And we're gonna take a deep breath in. Your turn to with me. Ready? Deep breath in. Good. And I think we're going to do some neck stretches to the stretch out our neck and then we can do a circle. So we're going to do start this way and go around. Yeah. Around just to kind of stretch out our muscles and warm them up and get them ready to start our day. Because it's Monday, we had a fun weekend, maybe you guys went swimming or did some extra fun things. So we wanna make sure that your body's ready to start your week again. Okay, ready, let's get our fingers and let's start our mantra. Ready? I am happy, I am good. I am happy, I am good. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam Ji. Why Guru, I Guru, I Guru Ji. Okay, together. I am happy, I am good. I am happy, I am good. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam Ji. Why Guru, why? Guru I Guru Ji. You did it. I'm so glad I got to see you for circle today. I missed you over the weekend, but I'm glad I got to be with you today. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I hope that you don't get wet if it rains and I will see you tomorrow because tomorrow is Tuesday and we are gonna have our circle then for Taco Tuesday. Okay? Goodbye, so long, farewell, my friend. Goodbye, so long, farewell. We'll see you soon again, my friend. So goodbye, so long, farewell. Goodbye, ceiling friends. I will see you tomorrow. You have a great Monday.